We read Jack and the Beanstalk, and then one of our standards is to compare it um, to another uh, same, similar story. So we read Kate and the Beanstalk, and they, re they wrote opinion pieces about why Jack was worse than the ogre, or the ogre was worse than Jack, and then they did little characters. So, hence the Beanstalk. There's a few girls on there because that represents Kate and the Beanstalk. Um, and then some other writings over there. And then of course Milky White is a sub-character, a minor character in the story. This is a story of Jack and the Beanstalk and it was originally an English folk tale. There was once upon a time a poor widow who only had one son named Jack and a cow named... Milky White! And all they had to live on was the milk the cow gave every morning which they carried to the market and sold. But one morning... Olay! And why do we say Olay there? Kaylee, why do we say Olay? Because it's a transitional phrase. It's a transitional phrase, so we say Olay. But one morning... Olay! Milky White gave no milk, and they didn't know what to do. And how did we describe Milky White earlier? What did we say? If you're not useful, what word did we use, Carter? Lame cow. You're a lame moo-moo. <laughs> We work with our thinking maps and the depth and complexity icons a lot in this class, as all of our classes do. And what they're working is, is with four characters in cooperative groups. We started with partners, X's and O's, um, because it's Valentine's Day month, so we did X's and O's. And now they're working in cooperative groups to write down and fill out all of their bubble maps, which are in the form of characters, the four major characters in the two stories, Jack and the Beanstalk and Kate and the Beanstalk. And I like, the things that I stressed were that everyone participates, that we're all sharing. They talked about other rules, because we talk about rules in this class all the time, going back to our depth and complexity icons. And that's something that they know is a norm, a group norm, and so that's what they should be doing right now. So hopefully so that's what, what you're saying. What are we going to be looking at for wandering around? What are we looking for? We're, we're looking for them all working together. We're looking for their prior knowledge that they wrote down, some things that they had brainstormed with their partners. Um, if they get stuck, how they solve their own problem. And I like to see that. And if they added anything additional that they didn't come up with before, I like to also see them extend their learning. This just springs forward to the rest of the year and the things that we're going to learn because we get into more difficult stories. And if they're able to do this with this story, then they can apply it in, to other stories that we're going to be reading in the future. Um, I think they have a general, general joy, genuine joy of like working with their classmates. This is a gate cluster class. So the fact that they're up and using resources and I didn't even direct them to do that makes me happy and then I become more of a facilitator and I'm not really dealing with behaviors or that kind of thing. I'm just dealing with management and making sure everybody's on task. But right now you can see that everyone is really engaged and on task and that makes me happy as a teacher. I do a play every year and I know how important like just as soon as you put up scenery and you put things in the periphery how much that kind of draws the attention of the kids and they become the characters in the play. So I think when you add this element into a classroom that's interactive, they really respond to it, which is great. And especially kids this age. So did the Beanstalk help you get more enjoyment out of the story? Yeah. Yes. Does anybody tell me why it was more fun? It was more fun because we got to do lots of projects that Ms. Eiches taught us to do. Ooh, and one of my favorite projects was um, making the stuff for the beanstalk. Anybody else? It was more fun because we got to actually make this story come to life with this beanstalk and make all the like Jack and the Ogre characters come to life on this beanstalk right here. So we can make everything in the story come to life right in front of us. The students are totally engaged in what they're doing. They love being in this classroom, and I think Mrs. Zeiches brings a lot out of the kids that maybe not everybody would. I think that these kids are lucky to be in here, and I think these kids are getting an amazing education. And I'm a parent too, and I would just... I would love to see my kids doing all the different activities that they do in here, the hands-on activities, working together. These kids are working together like little adults, and that's a great skill. They're going to have that for the rest of their life.